Um, I'm motivated by what I see as an art of, well, breaking down an, a barrier between humans and the natural world. My work, my whole life, has been about identifying with nature. So, for example, when I, um, when I was pregnant, I made a bunch of drawings that were about um, animals dealing with pregnancy and, and having little babies. Uh, but I used a, um, I drew them as mythological creatures and they were hybrids, they were half animal, half human, like many mythological creatures are. Um, so it was a way of me kind of addressing my anxieties about motherhood through making art. And I think in some ways I still do that. So right now I'm making work that, like the work behind me is um, about a thicket in a forest and it's also kind of about a tangle um, or not necessarily a barrier, but like a barrier. And I think in some ways I'm describing um, what it's like to get older. Um, so I'm thinking about some of, some of the ways that nature um, shows us age. And in a way, I think that it offers a very positive way of looking at um, a post-reproduction post um, stage of life. So, uh, for example, when a tree falls, so the life of a tree, like say it, say it stands for 50 years and towards the end of its life, woodpeckers are drilling it, maybe there's some mushrooms growing inside of it, and eventually it falls over. Well, if it lived for 50 years upright, it, it dies for 50 more years. And during that time, all sorts of, of life from the woods live in it. So it nurtures the ecosystem for another 50 years. And so I, I find that really comforting. Um, and so when I'm walking in the woods, I think about things like that. Um, and I'm not necessarily illustrating that idea, but I think that's something that I keep in mind when I'm looking at, you know, when I'm inspired by imagery. So that's what some of the larger drawings are about that I've been doing over the past several years. The most recent work, some of the paintings that will be in the show at Mount St. Mary's are, are less about aging and more about just simply, I mean, in some ways it's really just about being bowled over by the beauty of these collapsed pumpkin flowers in my garden. Like it's just as simple as that. And I, I often tell students, it's like, if you feel like making an image, that's your primary motivation. Like if you're motivated to make it because you're, you're somehow compelled by what it looks like, that's good. Just follow that, don't think about it too hard. You'll think about it later. Um, and so I loved the way these pumpkin blossoms looked. They were just gorgeous. And as I was making them and learning about the reproduction of pumpkins, uh, which I learned a lot about this summer because I had volunteer pumpkins in my compost pile. Um, as I learned about them, I once again saw so many correlations between humans, and in this case not animals, but plants. Uh, and it really just underscored my, you know, overarching philosophy that we're not different. We're all pretty much the same. Um, and so, in particular, the sexuality of plants. Now, I'm not actually making paintings about that. I'm making paintings that are based on the pumpkin blossoms, but it's still, it somehow still relates to my work because it's, it's um, I don't know if I would say the word erotic, but it's definitely, uh, you know, my relationship to it is I'm just really, I'm really inspired by the beauty of the form. So form to me is really beautiful.